Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't been posting for a long time and that's because I had no inspiration on what to post. So we just like rechanged my room. So I thought I would give a room tour. Now I would kind of like to do a little makeover with you guys, but I don't have any pictures up there before because I just thought of this when everything was done. Let me show you my room. This is kind of an overview of my whole entire room. It might look messy because I'm doing it like this, but it's not messy. It's actually really cool. This is practically my favorite part of my whole room, and that's my bunk bed. Now, we have like a lot of stuffies in here. That's why I go up to the top. So this is my blanket. <laughs> all of my stuffy. This is usually where I sleep. Um, probably, I would say, taller than, um, close to the size of my door, like you can see. So it's pretty big. I know it's definitely bigger than me, but I really like my bunk bed because I have Two choices on where to sleep and the bottom bunk was the size of my old bed so I have like two beds that I can sleep on it's really cool next I have my um, desk this contains usually all my books some stuff that I need like my um, watch phone my journal some cables to charge my iPad clock for water some more books and all my drawing supplies. And then I have stuff that I made really. Like I remember I made this with my grandpa. I actually have a signature he just signed. By the his signed in the says. And then I, this year I made this actually an art class. It's supposed to be a cupcake. I, was, I actually painted this white before because the paint looked pink. It was the color pink, but it was when it dried, it was white. So then I had to put purple over it, and that made kind of a tie dye effect. But I tried to make it kind of yellow. And then I have a donut that I made at Pottery Bayou. It's a really good pottery shop in Winona. Um, that's where I make this kind of donut picky thing. Next, I have my mini Rubik's cube. I have a not so. And I have just learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I solved, like, I solved it 10 times by myself. So that's it. My glasses. And some pictures of me and my brother. So I have on the inside. This actually does work. I'm gonna turn it on. See, it's an LED light. And then I have these LED like they only turn on white but they're like really cool to have around so that was my desk they have this kind of smaller desk I should say it has all my Legos we are thinking of getting a display case to put all my Legos in but you can play with them we have some books that I got from the Upwards library and my grandpa signed me up for Rage Rick. It's a really good kind of club, I should say. I don't really know. But they send a lot of good books, Sea Ranger. They send a lot of good informational books, and they have a lot of Ranger Ricks. I really like reading them. I have a picture of me going to the Frozen 2 theater. And down here, I have kind of my makeup slash jewelry box. My scrunchies, my makeup, nail polish, bracelets, all that stuff. Then I have this toy bed. Really, it has some whoopsies, horses, and play toys that I sometimes like to play with. I have the game Candyland. It's a really good game. Game if you haven't played it. And I just customized two horses. This was a My Little Pony horse. I customized it. We just a regular horse and his sister. My poppet, monkey noodle, bouncy ball. And down here I have a whole bunch of Legos. 
I have this like book bag, just a random bed, and a teacher thing back there. I also have my violin. Next, we're moving on to the drawers under the bed. So, kind of funny to see with the camera, but there are drawers under, oh gosh, under this bed. So here are all the, are all the looms I made in. Ah, can't see. Sorry. And then I have some more room. And then I have another Lego box, which is filled with kind of Le Legos that I really like, like some plates and all those stuff that I actually really want to keep. And then in the next drawer, I have my basic why I was part of the basic squad, but then I didn't want to be part of it. But then I have all my looms make the bracelet and all this stuff that I can put on the bracelets really. So I have a lot of stuff in there. Moving on. I have my piano. I have all of my piano books. My violin book actually. And the outside. That's our playground. That's not part of the room. And I'm not going to show you my closet. That's a mystery that you guys have to uncover. Put down in the comments what you think my closet is, and soon I might, I might do a closet tour. <laughs> but comment down below what you think my closet will look like. Okay, so this might not look like a huge improvement or redecorating to you, but it is to me on the bottom bunk. But um, let me tell you what my other, my old room looked like. It had a lot of rainbows, unicorns, pink, obviously. And I'm not trying to be mean to anyone who likes all those stuff. No offense, I'm not trying to be mean at all. I'm so glad that you guys like that stuff if you do. But I just felt like I wanted to change it. Usually, I'm going up, I'm almost 10. And I felt like every year I usually have something I want to change but I never really get to it. So I felt like this would be a good room change because it has stuff that can, like I'm not gonna change my desk for my bed or anything, but I can change like the sheets, what I put in my desk to kind of go with the change level. And this room actually took two days to make. Well, the bunk bed took two days. The desk took one, one, two days. Um, and the other stuff I just had. And I want to really thank my dad for making all this. He's a great builder and an amazing dad. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. And don't forget to comment down below what you think of my roof and what you think my closet is going to look like. Bye!